Acido Domingo, Susan Rattan, Rex in effect. Teddy Riley will stop by with Rex. And uh, Robert Duvall is here, James Brown. And it goes on and on, but I have to get to the show right now. Uh, with movies like New Jack City, uh, White Men Can't Jump, Jungle Fever. Yes, indeed. Uh, my first guest is a shot to stardom, the top of Hollywood. His latest film is called Passenger 57, and it opens today. You gonna check it out? Yeah. 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 <laughs> um, it shows a side of him that you have never seen before, and I get a little PR out of it, too. Let's see this clip. Sir, this is Mrs. Edwards. She's a frequent air traveler. When I told her all about you, she volunteered to help make you feel more comfortable. It's a real honor to meet you. I take this flight at least once a month. I have grandchildren in Van Nuys. That's just outside Los Angeles. Well, maybe not just outside, but hell, Los Angeles is so spread out. Who's to know where it begins and ends and what's inside and outside? Don't you agree? <laughs> Wait till I tell everyone that I sat next to you on the plane. I watch your show all the time. My show? Never miss it. Woo! <laughs> and I just love it when you do those jokes about things that make you go, hmm. Wesley Snipes! Still crazy, man. Still um, crazy. Did I see Kevin Hook's name on the trailer? Yeah, because he directed the movie. That's great, man. Yeah. How many remember Kevin Hook's from White Shadow? <laughs> yes. And it says a Kevin Angela, Hook's film. Lisa, uh, Tony and Angela, or something like that. What was that the movie? Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Um, the other one. <laughs> the other one. Yes. I'm happy for you because uh, this is taking you to another place. Um, I read some critic though said that you're wasting your talent in a movie like that. What do you think? Well, I don't think I'm ever wasting my talent. Um, you know, you try to get the best script that you can get. Sometimes you fall short, but uh, under these circumstances, I think the film is pretty good. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm happy to be, you know, knocking people upside the head and <laughs> kicking people out planes and stuff like that. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> What's the critic's perception that it doesn't take as much talent to do something like this as opposed to Jungle Fever? Well, I mean, you try to throw kicks for 27 takes and then see what the talent is all about. Yeah. I mean, it's, uh, <laughs> It's not an easy thing. Because um, people look, you know, they say it's not real acting, but that's why you try to have the better scripts. That's why yeah. you try to improve upon the quality of the script, you know, in the story. You know, a lot of action films fall short. This one don't, don't. So. <laughs> you do all your own stunts? All my own stunts. And did you know martial arts or did you study for this? No, I've been training since I was about 10, you know. Mm -hmm. In the South Bronx, you got to learn a little something, you know. Yeah, check it <laughs> yeah. out. Boy, so will you do more of these kind of films, or what's next on the horizon for you? Well, yeah, I'm going back and forth from uh, action to dramas to comedies. Uh, I work, uh, we do a, a drama now, starting in New York. Start, we start filming on Monday. And um, after I finish that, I do another action piece with uh, Stallone. Play a crazy character. Sick. Sick guy. I got blonde hair and a blue eye. Ah, <laughs> I'm happy for you, man. <laughs> you gotta, I said that you kind of moved closer to me. <laughs> Actually, if you notice, I moved away. <laughs> you know, Spike Lee said this morning that, that, that you're so large, he's not going to be able to afford you uh, well, in the future. To, I don't have to get my money from Spike no more. <laughs> I get it from the studio. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you turned down a part in Malcolm, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> what was the role? Well, he wanted me to play the killer, the guy that kills Malcolm. You know, and I can't go out like that, man. I still live in, you know, Brooklyn. I'm walking down the streets, Buzz be like, Snipes, you went out, man. You killed Malcolm, man. <laughs> you know, you out of here, man. I can't do that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, tell them what Passenger 57 is all about. Well, I play a guy who's an airline security expert, and uh, he's going for a new job, and he just so happens to be on a plane with an international uh, terrorist. And um, they, they end up in Mortal Kombat, you know? Yeah. Saving, uh, saving America, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We have a clip from um, 
the movie, and I think this shows some of the martial arts stuff, right? Yeah, good, because I figured you would show that, <laughs> that piece with you in. Oh, really? <laughs> no. Actually, I haven't seen the clip or the movie, so... <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> well, I'm just, I'm just oh, being honest with you. Oh, oh. Look, I'm on TV every night, man. I don't have to show understand your damn that. clip with my I joke in it. <laughs> don't get too full of yourself, <laughs> OK? Let's see his clip. All right. Frank, 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 look. Look, we got a hijack situation upstairs, OK? I need your help. Anything that you can do. Well, look, I'm not risking my life. You guys want to fight terrorists, you're on your own. Look, give me a knife or a screwdriver or something, OK? I think we should do exactly what Mr. Rain wants. that fight is because when you were fighting that guy was actually thinking about me <laughs> he let you win we'll be right back on wesley snipes ah!